In this lesson, we're going to model the wine glass using a curve and a revolve. So to start, we're going to set the project to a folder that you can download off of sideeffects.com. This folder doesn't have any scene files in it yet, but it does have some texture maps we're going to be referencing in. We can then save a start file inside this directory. So we're going to go wine glass underscore 01 and make sure that goes into the same directory. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to a for view, go over the front view and go spacebar B to raise that up. We're going to press the D key to bring up uh, the ability to set up a background. So using that same project, we're going to bring in the profile and accept that. Now if we push this off to the side, you'll see that um, the background profile does scale with the scene, but to position it properly, we're going to raise it up by three units and we're going to scale it by five in both directions. It now aligns with the grid that we have and we can use this to start drawing the curve. Now the curve we want to use is not on the create shelf but rather on the polygon shelf. It's a curve polygon tool and it has the primitive site type set to polygon. So that's very important. We're going to grid snap the first two points then turn that off and start drawing uh, on top of the background like this. Now the reason why you want a polygon curve instead of a bezier curve is if you single click a bezier curve like this, you'll actually get two points at each click, uh, which will then be a problem when we go to subdivide this later. So it's very important that you use the primitive type uh, set to polygon for this, and the curve polygon tool does that. So we continue down uh, drawing this. Now we're going to draw this couple points off, and then we're going to use grid snapping to get the last four points. Uh, and when you finish, uh, just press enter, and there we go. Now the points that are off, what we can do is we can go to the edit mode for the curve tool, and we can click and just drag those points to move them back into place. So you have the ability to, to do this um, as you're drawing the curve. So the next thing we do is spacebar B, spacebar B to get back to the 3D perspective window. We're going to press the select tool, press N to select all of the polygons, and then use the radio key to get the revolve tool. And that revolves that into place. We can then go press 3 to get um, edge snapping, and then double click on those two, and double click on these two uh, to get my revolve setup. We're going to press the tab key and go tab crease. So since we're going to subdivide this, we want to tighten these edges that we've just selected here. So we're going to set the crease value to 0.75. So they're not perfectly straight, but they will be a little harder edge than if we were to do uh, to not have the creases there. Set the depth of our subdivide to 2. And there we go. We've now got our uh, revolved shape. Now we're going to press a null, go put a null node down, and this we can label as uh, glass underscore out. And we'll use that sometimes to extract that if we're going to extract that into another object later. Now we can go back up and give this the name glass or wine glass. And there we go, we've got our first object. Now what we want to do is we want to do the wine inside there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that wine glass there and we're going to do a extract. And it's going to extract everything in that um, first piece of geometry and create a second piece of geometry, uh, which essentially is in the same space. But what we're going to do is we're going to take the select tool with primitive selection and we're going to go in and select everything up to there and press delete to blast that away. We go spacebar B and we bring back this view here. Uh, we can then double click on the outer edge uh, and delete everything there. So those two, we get two blast nodes and they get rid of everything except inside. Add a reverse node because the normals were pointed in the wrong direction. And now we can double click on the top of there and do a tab poly fill. To create a nice topology for that, we're going to go quadrilateral grid and we'll do a tangent strength of zero. And that puts a nice, just sort of a flat surface there. And once we've got that, we'll do a little bit of a poly extrude all the way out. So just a, uh, 
tiny little bit so it overlaps the glass a bit, that can help with rendering um, down the line. And also with the simulation of the fluid. So this can also have its own null. So whenever we do something like this, we'll create a null object, make it easier to find. You, If you capitalize, it'll be easier to find um, if you're searching through a network. And there we go. We'll call this the wine. So we put the wine glass and the wine ready to go.